to just be here having a conscious conversation with you. Maybe it's been about a week or so, and I am feeling so just, not only just proud of myself, but so energized because I committed to coming on and giving you a daily dose of Dr. Vitamin D, Monday through Friday, just your 15 minutes of burst of yumminess to really get your day kick-started. And guess what? I have been showing up. Today, this Wednesday, I had so many things kind of going through my head, and as I listened and watched my devotional this morning and had my prayer meditation time, I kept thinking, okay, what is it about today that is so different? What is it about today that I really need to share with all of you listeners? Because I know that you're out there listening on iTunes, Spotify, Spreaker, Stitcher, Poppy, not Spreaker, not anymore. But Podbean, you get the picture, is that there's multiple ways that you can actually listen and tune in. And I hope by now you are inviting some friends to listen too. Because your daily dose of Dr. Vitamin D brings just that right amount of extra sunshine into your life. So this Wednesday, I hope you can feel and get a taste of the energy that I'm bringing. I want you to think about being bold. Bold. Just Bold. So our affirmation, I'm going to start the show actually with the affirmation instead of kind of positive later on in there, is that there's something about being bold. There's something, it's not about just being courageous. It's not about just being fearless. Being bold is really stepping, walking, owning the space that you're called to be in for such a time as now. You see, one thing that I realized is that different seasons require different levels of boldness from you. I know that it requires different levels of boldness from me. Now, confidence, I got that. I'm really clear about who I am. I'm confident about what I'm supposed to do. And remember, that consistency piece that was missing has got me really on a roll now because I have been consistently showing up for you on Walking Through Glass, the podcast. But in addition to that, I realized that to really up-level my purpose walk, I need to be bolder in this season than I've ever been before. I need to not just be fearless because I'm not afraid to do something or I own the fear. I need to really push myself beyond even higher limits I set up for myself. Why? Because they weren't big enough. And that's scary to do that. That's why I said it requires a whole nother level of boldness. So, how I was processing my week and my next steps and writing down and being very clear about what I'm looking for in this season of my life, I found myself as I began to jot those things down that I didn't write some things down. And that I spent an an inordinate amount of time being circumspect, being weary and wary about really speaking, writing, and what it will cost of me. Again, I said what it's going to cost of me to be able to operate in the space that I know that I'm going to. I am a global speaker, teacher, trainer. And to operate at a global level takes a boldness that on the surface transcends what had become my current understanding. Now, being international, um, traveling, I, I, I spent my whole, gosh, over 20 plus years, actually close to 30 years doing that. And I spent... 16 years continuously living overseas. So it wasn't about being bold about being global and living overseas or acting or speaking or interacting with people outside of that. It was in this season of my life carving a business and working in my purpose on a global level. So it's not 
the federal government government sending me to a location, I'm working there, and I have the safety and the security of that paycheck and that institution to insulate me, it's saying, oh, wait a minute, this is all me. That means that whether I choose to succeed or fail, it is still my choice. Because whether you are or you aren't, again, that is your choice. And so you have to really, truly, and honestly get bold and be bold and not let the fact that you hadn't done it before on that level, in that manner, cause you to play small, to think smaller, to live small. So I had a conversation with Xavier last night, and um, for those who tune in for the first time, Xavier is my 17 year old son, who he's the best thing that I've ever met, he's my greatest achievement, and I love him to life. I don't always like him, but I love him for life. So we were talking about his dreams of playing college football, as well as playing professional football. And so our conversation surrounded the concept of what are you going to do to be strategic to bring this to fruition? Okay. Because it's going to take some sacrifice. It's going to take some boldness. Now, the conversation started because he goes to these different websites and puts all his information in and, and then all of these quote-unquote recruiters and people that's supposed to help you recruit get recruited and picked up for college and these people that you're supposed to pay to get you to your next level and I was sharing with him that Xavier that this is a business and that people will tell you that you know you need them to have contact with these college coaches and recruiters and, and to get noticed that you need to go through them and what I was explaining to him is that, no, Xavier, is that, yes, you need a conditioning coach to kind of help you up-level your A-game, because every coach has a coach, right? Okay? They should, you know. And I said, so you having a trainer, having a conditioning coach, having someone to really up-level your skill levels, I said, all of those things, I see that. I said, I also want to share with you that some people are just out there, and they are taking advantage of your lack of knowledge, but more importantly, your your unwillingness to be bold. So I told him, I said, how about we approach you getting noticed by the schools you're interested in in a different manner? I said, how about we contact those people directly? How about we call those recruiters, those coaches, those schools, those people, and we begin to send them letters and information, et cetera, about you saying, you know what, keep me in your radar because he's a junior this year. So next year's his senior year, and he's going to have a more another amazing year. And I said, so, how about we be bold and go directly to the source? And he looked at me, and he goes, oh, you know, I did that. I said, but you didn't use your biggest resource, which is me. Save your people, pay me to do this. Okay? I'm your mom. I'm your, I'm like your, your secret weapon. I said, I'm your greatest asset in this. Besides you, you're telling me your skill. And I said, your ability to communicate, your ability to, to boldly state who you are and what your value add is, I said, it's going to be critical in getting you noticed. I said, but that takes boldness. Yes, you are a quiet leader. Yes, you know, you're a really solid person. I said, but if you want what you want, and you know that that's what you're called to do, and you wake up and you feel it in your belly and your passion, is just over, it's just overflowing whenever you think about it, that you get excited that you want to just jump out the window and for me, like the car, when I'm talking to you guys, I get so excited. If you're feeling all of that, then that's what you're called to do, because it's been planted as a little seed and it's starting to grow and it's starting to blossom. It's going to take boldness to really begin to bear fruit, especially especially when you're in a crowded market, especially when you're in, a, in circumstances or situations that don't really look favorable to you, 
especially when you have to beat up that inner critic and that inner bully that's trying to explain to you all the reasons why you doing A, B, C, or D is not appropriate, it's going to take boldness on your behalf. So it's not just the courage to say, I can do this. It's the boldness to speak it and walk in it and to do it. And I said, how about we sit down and I will help you craft, craft the copy. And we will begin to send information to those schools and those people and all of that. We will put together your initial sizzle reel about you. I said, we will utilize multiple media marketing tools to do that. And I said, here's what the point of that is. I said, they may never call you back right away. They might not. But it doesn't mean that they don't know your name. I said, the name recognition is everything. So when you're afraid to go live on Facebook or to speak in front of a group or put your name out there to submit proposals, to say, hey, you know what, consider me. When you're afraid to do that, you rob yourself of the opportunity for people begin to recognize your name. So here's what I told him. I said, Xavier, here's what actually begins to happen. Over a period of time, you're not going to stalk them. You know what I'm saying? You know, except you might be checking them out. But you're not going to stalk them by sending them letters every week. I said, but we will do a timely drip, okay? I said, so when things pop up, opportunities, or they're in certain areas, or you're in the newspaper, we start doing your press releases, and they go, wait a minute, I've heard of that name before. And bada bing, bada boom, your boldness begins to pay off. You see, we become weary and circumspective when it's not an immediate return. And that's what we need to begin to shift and to think differently about the situation is that you are planting seeds and they are not, they are not going to grow and bloom overnight. Now, the only thing that I knew that would do that was a chia pet. And you used to water it, put the little seeds in the chia pet, you would water it, and you come out the next day, and it's like blooming thing. But guess what? The chia pet was temporary, and it had no roots. It had no roots. It had no foundation. So it wasn't sustainable. So do you want to begin to plant the seeds in the fields, in the gardens, in the forest, in the landscape? of your bigger purpose or not and if the answer is yes to that then I'm telling you today you need to be bold bolder than you've ever been before because in this season it's requiring an up level version of you so what you were doing before is not going to work now because you're in a new season and if you want more grow bigger, it's going to require a greater sacrifice. And there may be some struggle, but that's okay. That's where your clarity comes in and being really clear about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Because there's alignment there. And that's where your confidence comes in. Because when people telling you, well, man, you really should have and know you this and why you can't, that confidence going, no, I'm good. I know. Hey, all right. See, here's the piece. You can ask for feedback, but you don't need validation. And the consistency to bring it to fruition and to bring it home, that's what's key to you. But if you wrap all of that, your clarity, your confidence, and your consistency, in a new level of boldness, there's nothing. are called to do okay so i'll elaborate maybe a little bit on that tomorrow about you can't do just everything you were called to do something and in that something you need to be bold so that's your daily dose of dr vitamin d 
on this Wake Up Wednesday. I feel like I kind of gave you a little bit more shaking and a shift because that's what boldness is about. And I am going to continue to be bold because I have some things to do. I have a mission to inspire, empower, and transform lives. And I'm going to do it one day at a time, one morning at a time. At a time. And I am thankful that you join me. So appreciative that you're listening. And I would even love you ten times more if you shared it. So, please make sure you share Walking Through Glass podcast with your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers. And let them also have a daily dose of Dr. Vitamin D. Have a great one. Bye-bye.